Hello everyone, this is Miguel Luñez. Happy New Year 2019. I'm reaching out to you guys. This is our first piece that I typically reach out to my fellow fiduciaries and trust officers. And this is where I share some of my experiences that I've had in doing real estate. And I know most of you uh, pretty much held some type of real estate at one point within your cases. So again, I think that sharing this information is helpful for all of us. So today we're going to talk about easements and it's just going to be a non-legal introduction. So for example, if you have a house, land or commercial building and you have external utilities, then you have an easement. Basically an easement is a real estate ownership granted to an individual or an entity to make a limited but typically indefinite use of the land or of another. Why indefinite? Because for example, uh, most likely you have a um, cable, your cable TV utility has a line running through your backyard to your house. Well, that's gonna be there pretty much for all the lifetime that you own the house. So anyway, that's, that's uh, why they mentioned that. Now, an easement is not the right for occupancy or, or not a right to profit from the land. So most easements are typically recorded, but you have to be careful because some can happen without recordation. So you need to be aware of whoever the landowner was, whether there was something that was quite obvious, whether they knew that there was an easement or that they should have known of an existence of an easement. So be very, very careful. Now, there's a couple of things that happen here. Some easements benefit the adjoining property. For example, a driveway. The driveway will help, you know, there's sometimes there's a landlocked lot, and the only way to get there is through an easement, uh, asking permission for the landowner next to you to access that. Now, some easements do not help the property. For example, pipeline. So a pipeline doesn't help you at all if it's just running through your land. You know, typically this happens in the ranch and all. So easement owners have the right to maintain the easement and have legal rights to access as well. So here, it gets a little tricky here because it, Let's say you have to go through this easement to get to your house in the back and the trees are growing in front of your path. Well, typically you have the right to cut those branches, but they're not really your trees. So again, it, it can get a little tricky. So it is very important that if you are going to, ident or if you have identified an easement, that you have a, a professional surveyor to identify the limits of, of the whole thing, it, it, because that goes into your or legal notice. It is also very important that if you have a situation where you need to do an easement uh, survey that you hire a professional surveyor so that they can put all the exact dimensions and uh, orientation in the legal description. Now there are here are just a couple of ways to uh, terminate an easement and one is abandonment. For example we had a case where we had a property that uh, one of our clients bought and it was right next to the, the rail the rails of the train and between the rest of the train and the property, there was some land that was pretty much blocked from anywhere. So, and that was owned by the, by the train company. The train company would typically would buy the land where the rails go. In this case, that land was stuck. And at one point they just abandoned that land, uh, which was used now by our clients as, as parking. But it, you know, they, they abandoned it and you know, that, that's one way of letting it go. Another way of, um, of uh, Finishing an easement is also by adverse possession. Adverse possession is a is a situation where, for example, we sold a lot in in um, Cardiff, and the lot was about three houses away from a street. So a lot of people would use that lot to cut court to cut a little bit to get to the beach. So for many years, the people would use that as a shortcut, creating you know, what everybody thought was creating a. a um, an easement, um, they at one point had the right to go, or they thought they had the right to go through there to save maybe 50 feet. So anyway, that's just another way of, of uh, terminating an easement. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions. Remember, these are legal matters. You have to talk to your attorney, real estate attorney. We can help you with great introductions. And I hope this helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.